The next test in the FMS is the inline lunge. So to perform the inline lunge, we need our inches from our tibial tuberosity to the ground. 18. So I'm going to start with my left leg on the board. Remember I, I said you could put a piece of tape uh, on the ground if you don't have access to a board or a 2x4, 2x6, uh, anything like that. You could also work on a curb on the side of the, the road uh, or something that's just a little bit elevated that you have to keep your balance on. So I'm going to put a line. I'm going to stay back behind the line. I'm going to put my right heel at 18. For the wooden dowel that you need, thumbs are going to be pointed towards each other. My right hand is going to be at the base of my neck, and my left hand is going to be in the small of my back. For a score of three, the dowel maintains contact. Dowel remains vertical. There is minimal to no torso movement. The dowel and the feet remain in a sagittal plane. The knees touch the center of the board. And the, and the front foot remains in the start position. All right, so right foot, whichever side the elbow is up, the foot is going to go back. So we're going to perform three of these. So you're going to just squat down, lunge down, and lunge up. 45 degree angle. So we had right hand, right foot back. So I'm going to do left hand on top, left foot back. Three again. For a score two, the dowel contact maintained. Dowel does not remain vertical. Movement in the torso, dowel and feet do not remain in the sagittal plane. Knees do not touch the center of the board. And the flat front of the foot does not remain in the start position. For score one, the loss of balance by stepping off the board, inability to complete the movement pattern, and inability to get into the correct setup position. 